how to use heading and text editor with Elementor. So after creating the new page, we can start and work on our website. That's going to be the home page. And first thing before using the widgets, I will start with the basic widgets. We need to click plus to add a new section. And you will notice that we need to select the structure. If it's one column, two, three, four or different sizes of columns. So I will pick one column for the hero section and at the top here we'll have that blue rectangle. This is the section and the column. Back to the widgets with Elementor that will be on the right, the nine dots, and I can drag and drop the heading. Add your heading text here. Let's type some text. Build. And I can decide if the alignment will stay at the left, center, let's give it at the center. And on their side, you'll be able to pick the text color and the typography. So you'll notice that all the fonts here are from Google Fonts. We can just select Google Font, Montserrat, and the size will be 55 for the, or 45 will be better. We have the weight, transform, uppercase, lowercase, I picked already capitalized, style, normal, italic, oblique. And back to the widgets. Now, if you need a paragraph, more text, you can drag and drop the text editor. I will give you more options, copy paste the paragraph, highlight some text, bold, italic. We can keep this dummy text, lorem ipsum, align. Now let's say that I, I don't want the text to spread like this on one column. So we can add, we can just right click, add new column and align our text now to the left. check how it looks without the panel. That's for now. Make sure you update each time you add widgets, change your text, just click and update your website. And in the next video, we'll show you how to add a background image and button, call to action button.